League Softball World Series. We're live from Kirkland, Washington, just off Lake Washington for game one of uh, pool play action. Bago City, Philippines, representing the Asia Pacific region versus Niceville, Florida from the Southeast. Hi everybody, Sam Farber here with you on a picture perfect day in the great Northwest. It is a pleasure and a privilege to have you with us for the beginning of pool play. These two squads are both in pool A. We will see all of these teams throughout the week here in Kirkland, Washington, several of whom, including our defended champions, Hudsonville, Michigan, are back for a second consecutive year. More on that as we go through this broadcast and throughout the week. Let's begin with our lineup for game one. Leading things off at the plate, it's going to be Bago City, Philippines. Leadoff hitter is Froline Manalo, followed by Caracas. Buenafe Arnaiz, the pitcher in the cleanup spot. Sikapore, the catcher, will hit fifth. Lebrido at the sixth spot. And you've got Fuentes, Arsona, Bejos, Sumatra, and Tonaman rounding things out. It is a continuous batting order. Not as much substitutions to worry about here in 2023. Little League play makes it a lot easier for us keeping score and gives all the girls added opportunities to did opportunities to come up to the plate throughout the week. Starting things off in the center circle, it's going to be Chloe Bailey. She'll be towing the snap slab, 14 years old, just turned 14 earlier this month, July 7th. A middle schooler from Niceville, Florida. And she will be spinning in the center circle for Southeast, her favorite athlete, Dak Prescott. And in the circle, the Niceville Valparaiso Little League, number 10, Chloe Bailey. Southeast squad with 13 players, so four players available to come in as substitutes throughout the game defensively, but as I mentioned before, offensively, they are already accounted for in the batting order. One of the new features of Little League action in 2023, the continuous batting order really has helped improve the game and ensure that everyone gets their opportunities at the dish all the way through the lineup. Maximizing at-bats, which one of the most memorable things about being in a tournament like this one here, the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series. We're here on the main field at Everest Park, and we're ready to get things going. Froline Manalo leading things off. Center fielder for Bago City, Philippines. On just an exquisite day. Here in Kirkland, Washington, 64 degrees, a little bit of cloud cover for us. Nice and cool here as we get this 2023 tournament underway. First pitch is outside for a ball. Nine thirty-three local here in Kirkland, Washington. Definitely some time differences for both these teams to work with. This is receiving. 1-0 spun in for a strike by Bailey. Team from the Philippines, basically the middle of the night. Right now, local time, so everyone back home, thanks for tuning in. And as for Southeast, it's kind of like Tampa Bay Bucks or the Miami Dolphins are playing an early game on the West Coast. 2-1 pitch. Chopped over to third, over the head of Bree Knoll. Off single. Chopper put in play by Froline Manalo, and she is aboard. Francis Fuentes is the manager for the Philippines, batter Caracas, tries to bunt the runner over and pushes it foul, third base side. Caracas, the right fielder. Bunts at it, misses. Throw back to second. 
chase Manalo back to first. It's an 0-2 count. Christine Jane Caracas. Now gonna have to be swinging here. It's 0-2, pitch taken high. One ball, two strikes. Christine Jane, the youngest of three children of Rodolfo and Sarah. Here's the one, two. Swung on, popped up. Foul ground, right side, McKissick under it to make the grab on our first out of the game. Kaylee McKissick, a nice catch at first base. I'll bring up Andiana Buenafe. Number three hitter, plays first base for the Philippines. She'll take low runner going, throw over to second. I'll bring up Andiana Buenafe. Number three hitter, plays first base for the Philippines. And she'll take low runner going, throw over to and in time, they got her. Excellent throw from Addy St. John. Tag applied by Carly Summerlin. That was a bang bang play. Nice job by the shortstop Summerlin and let that throw carry her tag into the runner. And in a one piece movement. So now two down, Chopper over to short. Summerlin will finish the inning. And even with the leadoff single, the side is retired in order. No runs, one hit, no airs, no one left on. Niceville, Florida, you're up next here at the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series. The Philippines taking the field defensively for the first time in the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series. Erica Arnaiz will be in the center circle and she's gonna take on the following lineup for Niceville, Florida. Audrey Applewhite, the center fielder, will lead things off, followed by Bree Knowles. Carly Summerlin made a couple of nice plays at shortstop, a tag applied on the caught stealing, as well as a nice play to end the inning. She will hit in the three spot. Addie St. John had the other end of that caught stealing. The catcher will clean things up. Miller, McKissick, Bailey, Valdez, Graham, Mayfield, Hughes, Cook, and Carruthers rounding out the batting order for Niceville, Florida. John McKissick, skipper, and they're taking on Erica Arnais, 15 years old, from Bago, Philippines. Favorite team, San Diego Padres, and favorite player, Fernando Tatis. He is ready to spin it. A scoreless tie as we get set for the bottom of the first inning. Side ended up being retired in order for Niceville, Florida. Our champs from the Southeast. One of several new representatives here. Head coach or manager, I should say, John McKissick. Member of the U.S. Air Force, also a regular season manager in Niceville. They'll have leading things off. Audrey Applewhite. Skip says she is a top-notch competitor, an absolute ball hawk in center field. She will get first ups for Southeast. Our eyes. Rocks and fires, and it is taken for strike one. Home plate umpire is Vincent Yale. Part of our all-volunteer crew, although they are very much pro umpires, volunteering their time for Little League. You see Scott Mosley at first, Jeff Schotel at second base, and at third base, it's John Von Rensvall. A pitch inside and clipped her. So Applewhite is aboard on the hit by pitch. Lead off runner aboard for both squads. Bring up Bree Knowles. First pitch. She will take a strike just below the letters. 
Bree's favorite sports team, the Florida State University Seminoles softball squad. And uh, I guess you just got a new move, favorite new movie, the Barbie movie. Has quickly become her favorite. No balls, one strike. First baseman inching in as the pitch comes in just inside, one and one. Bree, in addition to softball and Good glove at the hot corner. Special town plays guitar. Multi-talented young women here in Kirkland, Washington. Pitch swung on and fouled back behind the plate. A ball and two strikes. Day one of pool play. Squads will play round robin and then the majority of them, eight out of 10, will advance into the knockout rounds. And on Saturday, we will crown our 2023 Junior League Softball World Series champs here on this very field. Pitch misses for a ball, throw to second. No, skips into center field and sliding in safely at third is Breen Olds. Right, check that, Audrey Applewhite putting pressure on the defense. Here's the pitch, ruled low, throw to second, skipping in and going into center field. So a stolen base. Plus the air on the throw. Puts the go-ahead run at third base here for Niceville, Florida. Three Knowles with a 2-2 count. Lefty delivers, and it's a hot shot single to right field. That'll score a run. First RBI of the tournament for Niceville, Florida belongs to Bree Knowles. It's 1-0 Florida. Knowles putting it in play, finding a hole in the defense. Right-handed hitter pokes it the other way. one nothing our score. Carnley Summerlin now up. She had a couple of nice defensive plays in the top half of the first inning. First pitch, takes a strike, runner going, and it's another steal. A lot of pressure being applied on the base pass here by our Southeast champs early. That's their second stolen base here in the first inning. So a runner in scoring position. Pitch was a strike to Summerlin. This pitch is sport athlete. She also plays volleyball. No balls, two strikes. Philippines looking for the first out of the inning. And they'll get it here. Swing and a miss. Strike three down by way of the K goes Summerlin. And first out on the board for the Philippines. Having to protect with an 0 2 count. And unable to put it in play. So that'll bring up Addie St. John. Coach. John McKissick raves about her high softball IQ. Swing and a miss at a high heater, and it is 0-1. See some of the particulars on Addie. Favorite singer, Zach Bryan. Middle child of Lee and Candace. No balls, two strikes. Good high heat so far from Erica Arnais. Swing and a miss, strike three. She's found her groove here, back-to-back -back punch outs. And there are two away, so, so far it's been the pressure applied on the base pass by Niceville, Florida that's given them their run. Had that hit batter to lead off the inning. Scampered around on an RBI single with two strikes from Bree Knowles, who stands at second. Natalie Miller up next. She'll take high for ball one. And 
currently youngest of three kids of Aaron and Amanda. Takes inside, two balls and no strikes. Favorite athlete of all time, Michael Jordan, can't argue. Favorite actor, also Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan for that one. Two balls, no strikes. That one is in for a strike, two and one. Allie will be an eighth grader at Ruckel Middle School. Right now, toe to toe with Erica Arnaiz. She's yielded the one hit and the one run here in the bottom half of the first inning. One nothing in favor of our Southeast champs, Niceville, Florida. Pitch swung on and missed. It's two and two. Deuces wild up on the big board. Two balls, two strikes. Two away in the bottom of the first inning. Florida getting Andre Applewhite across after she was hit by a pitch. Stole a second, advanced to third on the throw. Came home on the Bree Knowles single. 2-2, two, two, wind up and delivery. Swing and a miss, strike three. Arnai strikes out the side, but Florida puts a run on the board. The leadoff HBP hit by pitch comes across. Florida with a 1-0 lead after one inning. He said what she was looking forward to most about being in this tournament, being on ESPN. Chloe, dreams come true. Here we are. Day one of the Junior League Softball World Series. Ready for the second inning. Asia Pacific hurt by that leadoff hitter getting hit by a pitch. Otherwise, it was a stellar performance by that young woman right there, Erica Arnaiz. She struck out the side, but now is going to have to try and help her own cause. Coaches gave a quick blurb about all their players and talking about Erica said she's the crazy one. I don't know what that means. Just getting to know each other here. Day one of the Junior League Softball World Series. Erica, 15 years old, Bongo City, Philippines. Final couple warm-up pitches here for Chloe Bailey. Day one of pool play. It'll be a triple header action on each of the two fields. Each Pacific actually has another game later on this afternoon. One of two teams that are going to play twice today. Opportunity for them to get off to a great start. All right. Up to the plates. Pitcher versus pitcher here to start the second. First one's on the outside corner for a strike. Erica says her dream job would be to be a flight attendant. Already got a lot of air miles on for this trip. Asia Pacific, one of several international squads, obviously, here in Kirkland, Washington, one of the most well-traveled. Also Czech Republic coming a long way. Our Canadian representatives are just up the coast in British Columbia. So despite being an international participant, one of the shorter travel routes here to Kirkland, Washington. Two and one, pitch swung on and found straight back. Well, even the count, two balls and two strikes. Good start here for Chloe Bailey, she gave up the leadoff single. Chopper to the third base side, but after that, with the help of her defense behind her, still able to retire the side in order. Facing her fellow pitcher here. Bailey delivers outside. Trying to get Arnaiz to offer, she would not. Three balls, two strikes. Chopper over to third, gloved on one hop by Knowles. Toss across, plenty of time. Nicely done for the first out of the second inning. Celebratory dance routine for pre Knowles. Got something with everybody out there. Get our second look at the play here. Chopper to third. Shakir 
Mary Antoinette Sikapore. Now the batter. Inside, ooh, it hit her on the back heel. She tried to square around to bunt. And then in an attempt to hop out of the way, actually clipped her back heel. She's hit by the pitch. And there you can see it. She will head over to first base. Brings up nice libretto. Now the umpires are going to discuss things here. Also, Sikapore flexing that left ankle. And the umpires are going to come together. They'll run through things. one nothing the score. Florida representing the southeast with the lead. Here at the top of the second inning was a hit batter that came across for them in the first frame. Extra base is so valuable here. All these teams, champions, either their nation, their region, and every player an all-star. So there are no easy outs at the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series. They might be discussing. I don't think they're, they're stalling here necessarily to give her Sikapori more time. She takes a jog up the first baseline down towards right field. Now walking back to the bag. Take one more look at the hit by pitch. Show you where it caught her. And oh, it's actually the front foot was a lever. I thought. From my angle behind home plate, it caught her on the back heel, but it was actually the front one. So right as she's planting, hits her right on that ankle bone. Hopefully that's more stinging for a moment than anything else. So she's at first, she's staying in the game. She's a softball player. Nice libretto. Swings the first one. Hits it back to the circle. Bailey struggled with it first, but a nice recovery. Gets it to the bag at first base for out number two. Over to second goes Sikapore. Theoretically possible. Could turn two if you're able to get that one right, but Bailey, good first impulse there. Not to try and do too much. Calmly pick it up, get that out. Now there's two away. First pitch swinging is Fuentes, and she fouls it straight back, 0-1. Here's Fuentes, the leader of the team. According to her coaches, count 0-1. Off-speed pitch misses high and wide, one ball, one strike. Tying run in scoring position here for the Philippines. It's our seven inning contests. One one. Swung on and missed. A high offering. Fuentes could not lay off. Now it is one and two. Chloe Bailey trying to strand the runner at second. Tried to tempt her again. Now Deuce is wild up on the big board. Two balls, two strikes, two away. Top of the second inning. Day one of pool play at the Junior League Softball World Series. Southeast trying to maintain their one-run lead. Niceville, Florida's Chloe Bailey delivers. Strike three called on the inside edge. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. One stranded in scoring position. Niceville, Florida continues.
yielding that first run. Which missed outside, two and one. She really got it dialed in. Has this happened to you? You get roped in with phone offers that bind you to a three-year device contract. Break free with T-Mobile, introducing Go. Our Southeast champs here in play. Game one for both of these sides. We've seen some trends early. Southeast, some really good defense overall. And when they get anyone on base, they like to put the wheels in motion. Asia Pacific haven't been able to string any hits together just yet, but a great start in the circle from Erica Arnaiz is keeping it close. First pitch here is high to Andre Sarsona. Count is 1-0. and oh. Sarsona, the third baseman. Chopper up the middle. That'll get through to center field for a base hit. Lead off single for Sarsona. There is leadoff runner aboard for Daniela Beos. Chopper over the outstretched arm of Chloe Bailey. Brings up Beos, who coaches say she is the joker of the team. Fun foul of third. Good reaction from Bree Knowles to hustle over to it from the hot corner. But it is a strike. We saw this strategy in the first inning when Froline Manalo had a leadoff single. There were several attempts to bunt her over, unsuccessful, I might add. Bunt shown, pulled back, strike taken, 0-2. So again, you see certain ways of playing the game taking shape early on. Southeast, they like to let their runners just take off at will. Philippines attempting to move the runner over. Unsuccessful, though. 0-2. Oh, Hit foul back into the backstop. Mayo stays alive. Parents Orlan and Dahlia. Favorite athlete, Javi Baez. Favorite team, the Cubs. Swing, another foul ball back to the backstop. And it'll remain 0-2. says the coolest place she's ever traveled here in the USA. Earned this one. one in their regional tournament. 0-2, missed outside, one ball, two strikes. Throw back to first, chases Sarsona back to the bag. One ball and two strikes. One nothing score here in the top of the third. Pitch, swung on, and that's hit up the left field line for a base hit. Cut off in left field by Hughes. They'll keep the runners to one bag each, but it's back-to-back -back singles to start the third inning for the Philippines. Beos, a nice piece of two-strike hitting. Lifting that one into left field. Sandra Sumatra now is the batter. Sumatra not playing defensively. She's got her spot in the order with the new rules here for Little League in 2023. Sumatra takes the strike. It's 0-1. Bunts foul behind the plate, 0-2. So unfortunately here for the Philippines, they have not been able to put these bunts in play and give themselves some opportunities. She's showing bunt early with two strikes. Bunt early with two strikes. And she missed at it. They say she offered strike three. We Bailey. After yielding back-to-back -back singles, her cause with her second strikeout of the morning. 
There's one away. Isel Toneman, now the batter. The 1-0 takes a strike, one and one. Favorite actress Angelina Jolie, her dream job, flight attendant. See the world, 1-1. Missed outside, two balls, one strike. Opportunity here, best of the day for Asia Pacific. It's the first time they've had a runner in scoring position with less than two outs. 2-1. Two Swung and foul tipped, it's two and two. Philippines got the leadoff runner on in the first, but she was caught stealing. Had a runner at second with two away, last inning unable to score. Back-to-back -back singles here to start the third, the 2-2. Two -two. Called strike three on the outside edge. And that's back-to-back -back strikeouts for Chloe Bailey. <laughs> Bailey not feeling any pressure. Down by way of the K goes the batter, and that'll reset to the top of the order. Froline Manalo led off the game with a single. One here could tie this thing. First pitch, swing and a foul, back to the backstop. It is 0 and 1. Manalo had a chopper over the third baseman to lead off the game. Manalo, left handed hitter, takes outside 1 and 1. One-one, hit foul, left side. Nice catch at third by Knowles, doesn't count, but it's still cool. Bounced off the backstop and she still makes the catch. I got a feeling we're gonna have some ESPN Sports Center top 10 worthy plays. I don't know if that's quite there, it's still cool though. Ball and two strikes, Bailey's almost out of it. Delivers high, two and two. Tenth situation here in the top of the third. Potential game changer. Philippines back-to-back -back singles to start the inning, but then back-to-back -back strikeouts from Bailey. Here's the 2-2. Swung and fouled again. Good battle here between Manalo. Lead-off hitter for the Philippines. And Chloe Bailey. Two balls, two strikes, two away with two on in the third. A one-run contest. Pitches low and outside and a full count now. I don't mean a head start for the runners. And so if Manalo is able to find a gap, Philippines could take the lead. Pitch high, and instead the bases are going to be loaded. Good A-B from Manalo. Now the tying run stands at third here for the Philippines. Nice Phil Florida talking things over in the circle. It's Christine Jane Caracas is going to come to the plate. Caracas in her first at bat fouled out to the first baseman, McKissick. Left-handed hitter. First pitch is in for a strike. A one. Swung on, chopper off the glove of Bailey. Fielded at second, throw to first in time. Way to stick with it there by Natalie Miller. And despite the bases being loaded, Niceville, Florida, able to maintain the lead. The good old fashioned one, four, three put out. Still one nothing, Florida. She was at the plate when the runner had taken off early 
last inning. This time, Graham takes a first pitch strike. Favorite food, peanut butter M&Ms. Solid choice. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. First at bat here of the Junior League Softball World Series. Sun's breaking through the clouds here. Go two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down by way of the K goes Graham. That is six strikeouts for Erica Arnaiz. Gonna have to add to that highlight package for the lefty. Number 14, Molly Mayfield. Outside of one runner leaving the bag early, everything has been strikeouts. Molly Mayfield, the batter, and she will take ball one. Mayfield not playing defensively, but part of this continuous batting order, which has really gotten rave reviews all up and down the Little League levels. Just ensures everyone has more involvement, whether you're on your local team or on an all-star team, you're guaranteed your spot in the order, you're guaranteed your at-bats. Coaches have said it takes a lot of pressure off them to keep track, all right, how many players still need to get in for mandatory play rules and whatnot, all that just kind of goes out the window. Pitch chop foul on the first base side, evens the count at one and one. Favorite TV show from Molly, The Office. Favorite team, Notre Dame Fighting Irish. One ball, two strikes. And strike three swinging. Unreal pitching so far here today. That is seven strikeouts now for Arnaiz of the eight outs she has acquired. She has been indispensable in the circle. Keeping this a one-run contest. Only the RBI single way back in the first inning for Bree Knowles getting any offense on the board. First pitch here now to Layla Hughes. Takes ball one. Wings and misses, it's one and one. Who's left fielder? Trying to keep the inning going. The one one pitch. Taken for a strike, one and two. It was a freshman at Niceville High School. Let's see what she's up against here. Perfect pitch at the knees. Arn eyes the one, two. This tie, two balls, two strikes. He was a good flag football player in addition to her softball expertise. Awaits the two, two. Swing and a chopper, left side. Sarsona charges, makes the play. That's our first non-strikeout defensive out made by the Philippines. And it closes out the third. A one, two, three frame. Philippines in need of some offense in support of Eric Arnaiz. It's one nothing, Florida. Singles, which started the third inning. Philippines. Threatened but could not break through. They left the bases loaded. Now, Andiana Buenafe will lead off here in the fourth inning. The Philippines getting a spectacular pitching performance from Erica Arnaiz, but so far, no offense to back her up. 
This might be the start of it, though. First pitch swinging and a line drive base hit for Andiana Buenafe. Jumping on the first offering. Belt high pitch, and she pulverizes it into center field. Now we'll have our nyes up there. An opportunity to help her own cause, and there's some discussion going on. Well, maybe a pinch runner? I don't know. Winifé is hopping around. She's still on first base, so. We're ready to go. Our eyes have been perfect in the circle, or near perfect, I should say. One unearned run, all that's come across. She has yielded just one hit so far this afternoon. Philippines, so far they've got four hits on the board, but no runs to show. Swing at the 1-0, and it's fouled back out of play. Count goes to one and one. That was the 51st pitch for Chloe Bailey. Counterpart in the circle for our Southeast champs from Florida. Rocks and fires. Line drive, base. No, oh, sorry, stolen a base into Summerlin and short toss across in time. And she turns two. What a snare. Good thing Carly Summerlin's got a quicker reaction time than I do. Leaning across her body, makes a backhanded stop. And then a great stretch at first by McKissick. Bongo City has the base runner erased. Double play turn, two gone in the top of the fourth inning. Sikapori now first pitch swing, and she lifts it to first. McKissick will make the catch. And not anything to show for the Philippines. Brenna Cook will have her first at bat of the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series right here, right now. First pitch, she'll take a strike. It's 0 and 1. And his dad, James, a retired U.S. Air Force pilot. Mom, Chrissy. Middle of three children. So Morgan and Paige. Brenna. Fouls it to the right side. Count quickly, 0-2. And, and eyes gets called. Strike three on the outside corner. Rack up another punch out for Erica Arnais. That is eight strikeouts. And we are only in the fourth inning. Arnaz has been brilliant in the circle. Bring up Brooke Carruthers. Last batter in the order. First pitch, swing and a miss. Manager John McKissick says she is a hardworking, gritty player, no quit. 0-1 pitch, swung on and missed, strike two. I'll tell you, Florida hangs on to win. You see, manager John McKissick, if his squad hangs on to win this, it's going to be one heck of a gritty effort because Arnaiz has been far and away the player of the game with her pitching performance. Eight strikeouts so far. Now the hot shot stopped at first. Easy toss to the bag. Four out number two. Reaction time from our nine. There wasn't much there. She's able to help her own cause again. Comebacker on the one hop. Makes it look easy. She almost threw it too quickly to first base. Nice. First trip through the order has only given up one hit to Florida. Audrey Applewhite reached base when she was hit by a pitch and has the game's only run way back in the first inning. She is speedy. 
We've seen already after she was hit by a pitch, she stole second, advanced to third on the errant throw. Just trying to put it in play. 0-1, taken high. One ball and one strike. We expect to see Applewhite's speed all throughout the week, not just on the base pass, but also in center field. She has a reputation for leaving it all out on the line, trying to make diving plays. The 1-1 chases one above the letters, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Wind up and the pitch. This time Applewhite lays off. Two balls, two strikes. Applewhite's got the game's only run so far. See if she can put her speed into play. Outfield playing a little deep right now. Infielders playing a little bit in. Giving respect to that speed. 2-2, called strike three. It's another punch out for Erica Arnaiz. She is absolutely dialed in. That is nine strikeouts in four innings. Yeah, take a victory lap. The starting pitcher for Bago City, Philippines, doing her part, but they still trail 1-0. Early start for Niceville, Florida. But they have performed very well. Nice Lobrito, the shortstop, is going to lead off here in the top of the fifth inning. And she'll take a strike. Lobrito bounced out to the circle in her first at bat. Yo one swung on, lifted out to left center field. That'll touch down for a base hit and skips past the left fielder. Makes it all the way to the warning track. We've got our first extra base hit of the day, a leadoff double for Nice Labrito. And an opportunity to even this score here in front of the Philippines. To Reese Francine Fuentes. Coming up next, here's Teresa. One of the team leaders bunts it foul. There's a look at that charge from Labrito. A little awkward English bouncing it away from the defensive player. Philippines really needs to get this bunt down. If that's the assignment here for Fuentes, she's got to execute. Shows bunt and again bunts it foul. This is where Chloe Bailey really has been good. When she has seen those batters square around, she has not given them anything easy to put in play. That one up the bat handle. It creates a two strike scenario for Fuentes. 0-2 pitch, he swings and misses, strike three. Huge punch out for Chloe Bailey. Her fourth strikeout of the game. Doesn't have the same volume as her counterpart, but coming through in the clutch, no one can touch Chloe right now. Audrey Sarsona is next. Sarsona will take high for ball one. Parents are Daniel and Jeannie. One ball, no strikes. Bailey missed outside, 2-0. Oh. Looks Sarsona's favorites. Looks One Direction favorite actor, Vin Diesel. Dream Jobs wants to be a doctor one day. Puts a charge into this one, deep center field. Applewhite chasing, can't get there. It's all the way to the wall. The Philippines is on the board as we are all leaving. One run apiece on an RBI double for Audrey Sarsona.
Philippines has been trying to just put the ball in play with bunts all throughout the day. They let Sarsona swing away, and she has tied the score. And that is huge because their pitcher, Arnaiz, is absolutely on fire today. Brand new ball game here in the top of the fifth. Daniela Beos is next. Swing and a foul ball into the seats on the third base side. Count is one and one. Beos had a single last time up, but got stranded in scoring position. 1-1, one, one, hits it foul left side. Count is now one and two. Southeast champs, Niceville, Florida, had a one-run lead all the way back to the first inning, but really, they have struggled at the plate. They've only had one hit all game long against Arnaiz. Now they've managed to tie things up. Bouncer back to the circle, fielded by Bailey. Throw to first is in time, but advancing on the throw to third base is Sarsona. So the go-ahead run is now at third base. In the form of Audrey Sarsona, and even more pressure now on Florida, not just to get this out, but to execute, not have anything bounce away. Sandra Sumatra is the batter. She swings at the first pitch and fouls it back. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Inside, she backs out of the way, one and one. Sumatra's favorite subject is math. If she can get a base hit here, it would add up to a lead for the Philippines. 1-1, one, one, high for ball two. Pressure is on right now for both these squads. It's opening day, opening game of pool action for both teams. Certainly plenty of time to overcome a loss here, but you can really put yourself up on the front foot here with a W in day one. 2-1, across for strike two. Sumatra 0 for 1 so far. Bailey trying to keep it tied. The 2-2, missed inside, ball three. Close one. Sumatra was backing away from the dish. Just missed the corner. So a full count. Bailey's 3-2 delivery. Ball four inside. Inning continues. Runners now at the corners. Marcel Tunneman. First pitch. Call to strike. Oh, one offering. And that's a strike. Runner taking off. And Southeast. Could be a sign of their strategy, ignoring the runner. They'll yield the steal to Sumatra. Her focus is at the plate. The 0-2 swung on, fouled right side. McKissick will give it a look, but it's out of play. No balls, two strikes. Here's the delivery. Swung on and fouled away. Good battle here between Tunneman the last batter in the order. 
struck out in her first A.B., but having a good battle here with Chloe Bailey. If she can put it in play, could give the Philippines the lead. The 0-2 this time. One ball, two strikes. Bailey's 1-2, swung on, hot shot, just over the outstretched arm, the second baseman Miller into right center field. Two runs come across, and the Philippines is taking the lead. It's a game of inches, and that ball was just one inch too tall for the second baseman Miller. Two runs come across, and the Philippines leads for the first time. Three to one. Bongo City, Philippines. Taking the lead here in the fifth. Back to the top of the order. Froline Manolo. First pitch. It's a strike. Nice, Labrito started it off with a double to left center field. Then Audrey Sarsona put one in the gap in right center to tie the game. After a walk, a two-run single from Tonneman has given the Philippines a three-to-one advantage. The one-one. Swung on, up the middle, base hit. Manalo is yet to be retired. She's now two for two. And the inning continues for Christine Caracas. Nevada, number seven, Christine Jane Caracas. This will be the 29th pitch of the fifth inning. Lifted shallow right. That's going to fall in for a base hit. And the throw goes in behind a runner. They've got a pickle play. Throw home, and the tag will be applied. Philippines runs themselves out of the inning. But three runs come across with two outs. Isel Tonneman just over the outstretched arms of the fielder, a two-run single to give the Philippines their first lead of the day. It's three to one as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Changed in a significant way because Southeast was somewhat cruising. They had a bend but don't break philosophy defensively, allowing some base runners but no one to come across until that fifth frame where the last batter in the order Isel Tunneman go, had a two-run single to break through and give the Philippines their first lead of the tournament. So now, you're the Philippines side. You're thinking, we got nine outs left to work with. And a pitcher who is spot on. Arnais has struck out nine in our first four innings. Bree Knowles had that RBI single, the only hit of the game for a chance from the southeast. Niceville, Florida, first pitch. Low and outside, ball one. Green Knowles, a, in addition to being a really good all-around utility player for the southeast champs, manager John McKissick says he plays a mean air guitar, particularly Bohemian Rhapsody. Pitch fouled back out of play. Count goes to one and one. I know that one is on the playlist for Fantastic Crew here, so we will keep an eye on Bree Knowles throughout the tournament. See if that air guitar makes an appearance. Right now she needs the bat to come through, the 1-1, one -one, just below the letters for a strike. Count now one and two. Wind up and the pitch, missed high. Two balls, two strikes. Wind up 
wind up in the 2-2. Hit in the air, right field. Karak is coming in, and she'll make the running catch for the first out of the inning. Not an easy play, had a long way to run, and a short time to get there, but Karak is squeezes it for the first out. Bring up Carnley Summerlin. Summerlin struck out in her first plate appearance, which there is no shame in because that's basically all Arnaz has done all day long. Has nine strikeouts of 13 outs acquired. First pitch, swings and fouls it back. Summerlin, some nice plays at shortstop today. Also the backup catcher for the team. She is one of the big power hitters for this squad as well. 0-1. Tries to put a charge into that one, comes up empty, 0-2. Riveting opening contest here of pool play at the Junior League Softball World Series. Three to one, Philippines leading in the fifth. 0-2 delivery, swung on and missed, strike three. Down by way of the K goes Summerlin. That is 10 strikeouts for Arnai. She reaches double figures. And the Philippines is now seven outs away from an opening day victory. Strikeout number 10 for Erica Arnais. Bring up Addie St. John. Catcher today. First pitch. She'll take ball one. John struck out in her first at bat. Left-hander spins, misses high. Two balls, no strikes. Defense coming in concerned, making sure she's okay. She has not been behind many counts. Hit the first batter of the game with a pitch. Andre Applewhite stole second, moved to third, and scored in that first inning. Since then, Nothing doing for our Southeast champs. Right on cue, Arnaz bounces back, gets a swinging strike, it's one and two. One misses, three balls in a strike. Strikeout so far for our nice. She has not walked anyone yet. Did hit one batter, obviously. 3-1. Swung on, ground ball left side. Backhand stop by Labrito. Long throw is not on target. A little bit up the line. And aboard safely is Addie St. John. Not an easy play. I don't know how that one's gonna get scored. He could give it a hit because it's a backhand stop and it's a bang-bang play even if the throw is on target. And it will be scored a single, second of the game for our Southeast champs. Brings the tying run to the plate, Natalie Miller. First pitch, he will take high ball one, one of the rare occasions where the runner doesn't just take off. I don't think we've seen that yet today. There have been three base runners all game, and every one of them took off at one of the first couple opportunities. 1-0, swung on, foul tipped into the glove. It's one and one. Miller, the youngest of three children of Aaron and Amanda Miller. Older brothers, Nick and Nathan. 1-1 one, one is high, two balls and a strike. Wearing number four in this tournament, but in regional action, and I would assume 
in her home league. She normally wears number 23. I'm assuming an homage to her favorite athlete, Michael Jordan. 2-1. Swing, lifted, center field. And that's going to drop in for a base hit. St. John running all the way, goes to third. Throw is cut off, and now going to second on the throw is Natalie Miller. So perfectly placed, drops in a single and advances on the throw. And now the tying run is in scoring position for Niceville, Florida. So even though St. John didn't try and steal a base, she still puts pressure on. Two outs, she can just run. And a little bit of an overrun by Manalo in center field. It'll be a single. And the runner advanced on the throw. So it should just be a single, I believe, with no air on the play, because only would have been an air if there was maybe some hesitation by St. John. So should just be a single. Regardless, there are two in scoring position. St. John is at third, and I think there might be a challenge coming here, maybe asking about runner interference. Going to find out. Our home plate umpire is Vincent Yale, and he's got the headset on. So my guess is that they're going to challenge whether or not anyone interfered with Addie St. John as she made the turn around third. Here you see her, and the fielder is on the bag, and there is some contact there. Audrey Sarson is the third base. She's in position in case the throw comes to her, but as things were transpiring there, it became pretty clear that she was not going to field a throw. So by making contact, is that enough? to say St. John should be awarded home plate, make this a one-run game. For the moment, it wouldn't change too much in terms of the opportunity to tie the game. That other runner would still be at second, but in the grand scheme of things, knowing this is a seven-inning game, that would make a huge impact. Getting word that obstruction is not reviewable, and so this may not be something that can be challenged. Vincent Yale, our home plate umpire, giving the news. And yeah, no one's advancing, so runners at second and third. So there was no call of obstruction on the field. Again, yeah, that could be a big call, because if Florida doesn't score here, but scores one later, that run obviously would loom large. Still, the RBI opportunity is there for Kaylee McKissick, the manager's daughter. First pitch, swing, foul ball. Down is 0-1. Kaylee, 14 years old. Eldest daughter of John and Stephanie. No balls, one strike. Tying run at second. She swings and misses at a high offering. Quickly, 0 and 2. Coming out very aggressive. Not a lot of pressure all day on our eyes in the circle. She's got some here. Can she keep the Philippines in front? The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Down by way of the K to end the fifth frame. That's 11 strikeouts now for Erica Arnaiz and the Philippines. Bends, but they do not break. Two stranded in scoring position. Still three to one in favor of the Philippines. Natalie Miller. Got a pitching change here for Niceville, Florida. Natalie Miller coming over from second base. And she is going to pitch here in the sixth inning. Chloe Bailey goes five innings, giving up three runs all earned on nine hits. She hit one batter. And I don't think we have any new outfielders, but we do have a new second baseman. 
obviously with Miller coming out. Bree Knowles goes from third to second. And Chloe Bailey is going to stay in the game. She will be at third base. So the pitcher, Chloe Bailey, is going from the circle to the hot corner. She gave up two walks. Finishes her performance with four strikeouts. She's the pitcher of record right now. Again, five innings, three runs on nine hits and two walks, struck out four. That fifth inning is where the Philippines broke through. And now Natalie Miller is going to take over in the circle. Get into these later stages of the game, particularly with all the strikeouts, it means a lot of additional effort and pitches from Erica Arnai as she, I won't say showed some fatigue, but at least Southeast was threatening there in that fifth inning. On to the sixth. Andiana Buenafe will lead things off. Coaches say she is a perfectionist. One for one, to, uh, sorry, one for two today with a single. Swing and a slow roller over to short. Summerlin charges and the throw to first is in time for out number one. One out here in the top of the sixth inning. And here is the pitcher, Erica Arnais, who has already put herself on game MVP status watch. 11 strikeouts in five innings. First pitch swinging. Hopper over to short, awkward hop. Summerlin had to slide to her right at the last second there, and that just throws her off balance enough for an infield single. All right, just put it in play. You see that hop just kind of deadened and gives her enough time to get across first base. So a runner aboard. For Mary Antoinette Sikapore. Sikapore. Takes a strike, it's 0-1. Just celebrated her 15th birthday a little over a week ago. 1-0, missed inside, two balls, no strikes. Throw over to second, in time. Oh wait, no, they're saying she got in. At first it was an out signal. Then they say she slid in under the tag. I thought the throw had beaten her, but a good slide. And I think the ball slid out as well as what I'm being told here. We'll get a look. And uh, look, didn't look like it came all the way out. Maybe she bobbled it. Either way, runner is safe, a stolen base. Now this pitch gets the backstop. And over to third base goes Arnais. So some insurance now at third. For the Philippines. Kapoor, a chance to add to the advantage. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Hughes under it, she'll make the catch. Runner tags, throw home, not close. And it's now a three run lead for the Philippines. Erica Arnai scoring on the sack fly RBI. Just a good job by the Philippines just to keep knocking on the door, keep putting it in play. Let some good things happen. Three runs in the fifth, an insurance run in the sixth. And it's now four to one in favor of the Philippines. Nice Labrito is now the batter. 
Had a double to lead off the fifth inning. Came around scoring the opening run of the day for the Philippines and tying the ball game. Hits it out to left field. Sliding attempt by a Hughes, but can't field it cleanly. And it'll be a single for Labrito. Good effort by Layla Hughes. And got a glove to it, but just couldn't quite squeeze it. Runner on with two out for Fuentes. Teresa. 0 for 2 today. Take strike one on the outside corner. Throw to first, not in time. Chicago City leading four to one in the sixth inning, getting some insurance when the pitcher and eyes had a single, a steal, and came home on the sack fly. Pitch gets away, and into scoring position goes Labrito. As good as Arnaiz has been, she hasn't appeared to need much run support. But every little bit helps. Which is swung on and fouled at the plate. It's now one and two. Natalie Miller, the second pitcher of the day for Niceville, Florida. Lago City, Philippines. Takes inside, and it's two and two. Asia Pacific champs. Trying to expand on a three run lead. And not this time, called strike three on the outside corner. And Miller able to retire the side. One run, two hits, no errors, one left on. It's a three run Philippines advantage going to the bottom of the six. Hey, Sam Farber here with you. Welcome to Everest Park. Half of our entire ESPN crew. Great to have you here for day one of the Junior League Softball World Series. It's really been a, a riveting matchup here. Game took a turn with that three run fifth inning for the Philippines. Florida had bent, but had been unbroken until that stage. But with the Philippines breaking through, they catapulted into the lead. Now it is a four to one advantage as Philippines is six outs away from a victory. Chloe Bailey started the game in the circle. She'll have her second at bat of the contest. First pitch is high for ball one. Chloe, 14 years old. Favorite sports team, the Dallas Cowboys. Big fan of Dak Prescott. A 1 0 pitch. Swing and fouls it off the catcher, Sikapore. She's tough. She's a softball player. Count now 1 and 1. Bailey said one of her highlights from this past season flew on her first plane ride to a tournament. Journey continues here. Kirkland, Washington, the Junior League Softball World Series. Still time, but Florida needs to get something going. Easier said than done. The 1-1 one -one swung on and missed. Strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Count them, 12 strikeouts now for Erica Arnaiz. 16 outs in total recorded, 12 by way of the K. 
Brings up Gabby Valdez. Left-handed hitter. Both parents retired from the Army. Takes the first pitch high for ball one. Favorite athlete is Aaron Judge. Low sooner, baby, low, low. Florida could certainly use a judge-like swing right here. 1-0, showing some good patience here. Takes high, two balls, no strikes. Nice. Has 12 strikeouts, 10 of them are swinging, but Valdez reached base safely. And her plate appearance hits it up the third baseline, just foul. Make it two and one, it's a foul ball. They're gonna bring the runner back. It's a little hesitation out of the box. Gabby Valdez knew it was foul. But Quick hands, the Skipper no said, hey, sooner, get, get running. You don't know how they're going to call it, but they were on it. Two balls, one strike. Oh, nice. Delivers. Low, ball three. Count is three and one. Florida trailing by three runs. Here at the bottom of the sixth. Only five outs left to work with. Got to get something going. The three one is across strike two. Valdez knocks her head yes. Count is now full. Three balls, two strikes. Pitch swung on, hit into left field. That's going to be down for a base hit. Good diving effort by Bayos in left, but it skipped into her glove. And a runner's aboard here in the sixth inning. Love how Bayos not playing it safe. She's going all out for it and got close, but only able to knock it down. It's a single for Gabby Valdez. She's aboard. Brings up Quinn Graham. First pitch, squares the bunt, pulls it back, takes a strike. Graham also a basketball player. Manager John McKissick says she is one of the most disciplined and smartest athletes he's ever coached. She takes strike two called. In playing right field today. No balls and two strikes. Needs to get aboard to bring the tying run to the plate. The 0-2, misses low. Throw over to second, not in time. Stolen base for Gabby Valdez. Early on, Florida was running at every opportunity. Took their foot off the gas for a little while there, but see the steal. That's the third successful steal today by Niceville, Florida. One ball, two strikes. Graham swings and misses, strike three. That's a lucky 13 strikeouts for Erica Arnaiz. He has been almost untouchable today. Brings up Molly Mayfield. Brings up Molly Mayfield. Who is 0 for 1. First pitch, she'll take a strike. Mayfield not playing defensively so far today, but a good catcher for this squad. 0-1, chase is high, no balls, two strikes. Yeah. 
she can get on board, it would bring the tying run to the plate. 0-2 offering, swung on and fouled away. She stays alive. Thirteen strikeout performance so far for Erica Arnaiz, left-handed pitcher for the Philippines. Her 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is 14 strikeouts. For Erica Arnai, she strikes out the side yet again. And the Philippines is now three defensive outs away from an opening day victory. They lead four to one, headed to the seventh. No walks. She's got one inning left to work, or the Philippines, I should say, has one inning left to traverse to pick up an opening day victory, and they'll try and help their cause. They are up four to one as we go to the seventh. Sarsona Beos and Sumatra are due up for the Philippines. Bomb the order has been very potent today. The last four hitters in the batting order are a combined four for seven. Three singles, a double, a walk, two runs scored, three runs driven in. Audrey Sarsona will lead things off here in the seventh inning. Two for two, RBI and a run scored, and she'll take strike one. Natalie Miller in the circle, gave up a run in her first inning. Right-hander delivers, swung on, lifted to right. Second baseman, Knowles under it, she'll make the catch for the first out. So first time today, Sarsona has been retired. In terms of offensive MVPs, Sarsona would be right at the top of the list. She had the game tying RBI in the fifth, a breakthrough double, and also scored the go ahead run. First pitch here outside to Daniela Beos. The 1-0, get on the ground over to second, gets under the glove of Knowles and into right field for a base hit. A worm burner, was hit hard. Quick shuffle of the feet for Knowles. Almost got there, but ended up in right field. So that'll be a single, second hit of the contest for Bayos. Brings up Cassandra Sumatra. Go City, Philippines. A four to one lead here, seventh inning. It's a seven inning contest. Lays down the bunt perfectly. Picked up by St. John, the catcher. Nice throw. And they get the runner at first base. Sacrifice bunts. One to three. You're scoring at home. Into scoring position goes Daniela Beos. Marcel Toneman. One for two with a two-run single. Chops it back to the circle, fielded by Miller. She'll toss it the rest of the way to retire the side. So it's a three-run lead for Bago City Philippines. They'll try to hang on here on opening day of the Junior League Softball World Series. The bottom three of the order due up for Niceville, Florida who led going into the fifth inning, one nothing. They got a RBI single from Breen Oles all the way back in the first frame. But after that point, only three hits scattered throughout the frames. It's been quite the performance from the Asia Pacific left-handed starter, Erica Arnai. So she's in the circle, trying to close this one out. Layla Hughes will lead it off. Hughes grounded out in the third inning. Layla, the name is Lala. 
Right-handed hitter against the lefty pitcher, squares to bunt, puts it down. Picked up by Arnai, spins, throws, it's offline. She threw to the second baseman, Fuentes, who was backing it up. Rather than the first baseman, she just saw a gold jersey and tossed it to it, and that's gonna be, I guess, an infield single? Or a, field, or a, a fielder's choice? I don't know, she threw it to the, to the wrong person. We're gonna call it an air. For Niceville, Florida, you don't mind the scoring. First pitch put in play. Bare hand pickup, Sarsona throw to first in time. No one's at third to cover. Great job running all the way by Hughes, and she's into third. It's a sacrifice bunt. By Cook. And just smart base running to recognize no one was over at third. So Hughes just kept on going. If you're the Philippines, you don't mind it. You're not concerned with that run at all because you have a three-run lead. This is all about keeping the tying run from getting to the plate if you can. Four to one the score. Brooke Carruthers is the batter. Carruthers, first pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Bounced out to the pitcher and are only at bat so far today. Wind up in the 0-1. Swing and a miss, chases. No balls and two strikes. Niceville, Florida has not scored since the first inning. They've got a runner at third. Trailing by three, the 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is strikeout number 15. Our nice has been unbelievable. Back to the top of the order, Audrey Appleway. Can she get the tying run to the plate? First pitch is high, ball one. Applewhite yeah. was hit by a pitch as the first batter of the day of the day for Niceville, Florida. Eventually stole second, advanced to third on an air, came around to score the game's only run for Florida. 1-0 pitch. High again, two balls, no strikes. With her speed, this is all about getting the tying run of the plate. So the threat of a bunt here is real because she can outrun a lot of arms. Swings and fouls it back, two and one. One pitch, swing, slow roller. Labrito at short, throw to first in time, and that will do it. Game over. Erica Arnais, a brilliant 15 strikeout performance, and gives Philippines a four to one victory here on opening day of the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series in the seventh. No runs, no hits, one air, one left on base. That gives us our final totals. The Philippines, five, a 4-1 win, four runs, 12 hits, three airs, eight left on base, four to one run, four hits, no airs, five stranded. Erica Arnaz, our winning pitcher, our MVP, seven innings. She gives up four hits, one unearned run, and strikes out 15 on her way to the victory. The Philippines 1-0, Florida starts the tournament 0-1, but both squads have a lot more softball still to come, and we will as well. Triple header coming from this field. Action all day long. We'll be thrilled to bring it to you throughout the day and throughout the week.
at the 2023 Junior League Softball World Series. I'm Sam Farber saying it's been a pleasure and a privilege having you with us. The Philippines 1-0 after Erica Arnai's 15 strikeout victory.